Hello everyone, welcome back. All right, let's start our lesson, science lesson, with learning about three R's. What is three R for? Three R stands for reduce, reuse, and recycle. What do you mean by reduce? Reduce means to use less of something, right? Like for example, I can use less water and turn off lights when not in use and use both sides of the paper. For example, uh, they say less water. Now, when, while you're brushing your teeth, you do not leave the tap running. You do not leave the water running. You have to wet your brush which has paste on it and then start scrubbing your teeth up and down and the sideways. During that time, your water tap should be turned off, not left open for the water to run. So that means you can use less of water. You can use a bucket, a pail of water to shower. You can fill the pail and then you can take shower rather than using a shower, okay? The shower, not the shower, shower as shower, okay? Now, turn off lights when not in use. Turn off lights doesn't mean when you are doing some work, you do not switch on the light. Or when somebody is doing some work, you go and switch it off and say, Miss Nisha said, they use less of light. No, I mean here is when you are not in that room, for example, you were studying in your study room or in your bedroom or you were uh, lying down. Okay, so when you step out of the room, you are done with your nap or you are done with your studies. When you step out of that room, you switch off the lights, fan and the aircon if you are using. And sometimes when you are done watching the TV, you can switch it off and then go out to play. And make sure you turn off the fan as well at the same time. So when you are not in that area, you've got to learn to turn off the fans, aircons or the lights, okay? Not when you are working, you do not turn on the light because you are saving it. No, that doesn't make sense. When you are not in the room and you are not using that room, so switch off the lights and fan. Now, and both the sides of paper. So when, what happens is, sometimes we use only one side of the paper when we print it out. You, what you can do is, if you are not pasting the paper in your book or on the walls or wherever you are doing, whatever you are doing, you can always use the other side of the paper to save one paper, okay? So that is called reduce, to use less of something, okay? So next is reuse. What do you mean by reuse? To use an item again. So what happens is, you can use the item again and again. For instance, like you can refill your water bottle. Do not buy when you go out for picnics, when you go out for jogging, when you go out for an activity or you're going to a mall or to uh, or you're traveling long drives and all, it's always better to carry your own water bottle which you can refill, okay? Not the bottle which you buy from outside drink and then they just discard it, yeah? So those kind of items you can use, you can refill the bottles, like your water bottles which you bring to school. Every day, mommy, when you go back, she rinses, she washes it and then she lets it to dry the next day morning and she refills it for you. So those kind of water bottles you can use. You can use containers like, um, there are aluminium containers, there are plastic containers which you one time use, you use, you buy the food, you bring it back and then you throw it rather than you, you should try to always use the containers which you can reuse. That means you can wash and reuse it next day for something else. Then you can buy reusable bags. Rather than using plastic bags, you can have fabric bags which are stronger and durable. And they are very, 
environment friendly they you can they can be reused if it gets dirty you can always wash it and dry it and then again the bag is ready to reuse whereas plastic is not that strong as it's not as strong as fabric and once it's dirty you got to throw it you cannot reuse it and it stays off very fast okay if you put in heavy items yes plastic has its own properties but it's always advisable to use reusable bags when you go for shopping it makes it easier and in that way you are contributing to the environment to the earth towards the earth next recycle to make new items from old ones uh, recycling means you can recycle clothes you can recycle paper you can recycle bottles these things can be reheated melted and then be used turned into different items even clothes yeah so i can recycle paper plastic bottles cans books cardboard crayons glass and etc means many more things there are which can be recycle you should know how to recycle it or there are bins which has recycling symbol on it okay the sign of recycling the symbol or the sign of recycling is three arrows going in, into a circle this is reuse reduce and recycle that's why it is called three r's they are starting with letter r all these three items are starting with letter r so they are called three r's today's notes is all about recycling later for homework this is for your classwork which you need to copy and for homework you will be having this you have to draw the recycling sign and then there are some questions which i have asked you to copy please do uh, look at the reference key and copy neatly into your exercise book so hopefully you will be able to do your classwork and homework neatly and upload it by monday morning no rush you have the weekend with you there is a bit of writing but it's very interesting it's about recycling okay uh, have a wonderful weekend stay at home keep make uh, make sure keep washing your hands and sanitizing and if you are going out please wear your mask and maintain distance have a wonderful weekend bye